Hi, I'm Dr. Yogesh Kamat. I am a hip and knee specialist. We talked recently about joint replacements and implants and I'd like to talk and inform you a bit further about what should indicate a successful joint replacement really. So as you know there is a negative outlook towards surgery amongst most people which is quite culture based as well. That is changing with more and more people having better quality of life post joint replacement surgery. However, when you have decided that you or your mother or somebody close in your family are about to undergo a joint replacement, what do you think should determine uh, success of that surgery? It is not related to what metal goes in. What determines a successful surgery is whether the patient is satisfied, not only satisfied, but are they objectively better in terms of performing more activity independently. Now, I'm referring to hip and knee, not only because I'm a specialist hip and knee surgeon, but because hips and second to that knees are indeed the most successful of joint replacement surgeries. Now, we have recently inaugurated our comprehensive knee and hip care center in Mangalore and we are actually the only one of its kind in India which has got international recognition where we produced results and parameters which compare to the best centers in the world. Now, what exactly do these mean? When one evaluates a particular surgery, one has to be able to get some average outcomes of patients who've undergone surgery and these need to be very objective. The parameters we have outlined are independent of doctors and therefore we call them outcome indicators. Now, if you look here, we have published our uh, outcomes for the last three years and you can see over the last couple of years we have had a hundred percent patients getting up and walking on the same day as their operation now you can see earlier it was quite common as is in the rest of India for us to give antibiotics for at least a couple of days but now we give antibiotics for less than a day which is important when a 70 or an 80 year old undergoes surgery now you can see Almost a hundred, if not hundred percent of our patients are continually doing stairs before they've gone home and complications are pretty much minimal. There are objective scores which are patient derived which tell us about what activities patients undertake. There are also innovative things which we are doing like new dressing techniques which make it easy for the patient once they go home. They can easily have showers even before the stitches are removed as well which gets them rehabilitated into their quality of life which gives them the confidence that they will have a better life after joint replacement.